Science make NATO! Hey guys, welcome back to the Science Kid. I'm Science Inc. NATO, and today we're going to be talking about the Vex Robotics Hexbug Gatling Gun. In this video, you're going to learn how to build it. Is it worth your hard-earned cash? And lastly, is it fun to play with? Now we're going to cut to a time lapse of me building it. Hey guys, you can see that I am now starting to build the Vex Robotics Hexbug Gatling Gun. Now this was a very interesting project, but it may seem like Legos with the simple, easy connect snap pieces, but it is not exactly the same. To me, it really wasn't too easy because it took a lot of effort for me to push the pieces together. In multiple points, I had to stop and take a break because my hands started to hurt over four hours of continuous building. So that is why you will see some different lighting throughout the time lapse. And so there are only a couple parts that I disliked about the Vex Robotics. The main part was in the instructions. Most of the pictures and the instructions were not correct. Either it was not the right color pieces, or it did not show the right angle to where you couldn't even see where the piece was going. They would say, you gotta put the piece in the front, but they would turn it backwards so you could not see where it goes. Which I thought was very weird because it's an instruction book and it's supposed to help you put it together. But anyway, after a little while of understanding that the instructions were not entirely correct of putting it back together and taking it apart and putting it back together and taking it apart all over again, I finally realized that everything was coming together. And then I finally started to build the barrel of the gun. Now, the barrel was very hard to put together because all the pieces, as I said before, would not snap together. But this could be a good thing because when someone is trying to tamper with your Gatling gun, it will not simply fall apart at the touch of one person's finger. It will stick together tightly. But it was not very good because I had to remove the pieces with tweezers to put them back together again, which was very complicated. I meant to say pliers, not tweezers. And so anyway, this was a really fun project and I really think that it does everything that it says. It does shoot over 20 feet or for the people that use the metric system, six to seven meters. And it probably does have over 275 pieces, but they're not really easy snap. All right, and now my conclusion. The difficulty of the build, 14 years old is probably correct. Otherwise, if you're younger than that, then you'll probably need an adult to help you. Now, is it worth the cash? It's about $40 on Amazon, and considering it took me two hours to build the Lego Millennium Falcon, which was $180, and it took me four hours, and it was only $40 to build the Vex Robotics Hexbug Gatling Gun. So I think there's some pretty good value there. And does it relate to science? Well, in the instructions, it was very vague, so you really need some engineering skills to put it together. And there's also some fun science experiments that you can do by changing the angle of which you fire the projectile. 45 degrees is probably the best because you will get the farthest distance. Want to buy one of these? There is a link in the description. Make sure to stay safe and stay curious. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.